I said it won't snow in Graz. So we're surrounded by mountains, it's too warm, never snows in Graz. Woke up this morning. Pretty cool though. So I changed your plan today. We're supposed to have um, a bit of a different vlog for you guys, someone else hosting. But I kind of didn't get a chance to teach you how to use a camera, so we'll save that for another time. So we're going to do something a bit different uh, to what we've been doing. And it's one for like the, the geeks out there, the goalie geeks. I'm going to go and review some gear. See you inside. How can I forget that? Start again. That's better. Told you a geeky one today. It's kind of weird because today was the first time I've actually uh, really looked or even got any of my kit out since I got injured. So, yeah. It's nice to see it again. Really nice to see it. It'd be even better when I get to put it on. Today, geeky one, like I said, especially for you goalie nerds out there. Just gonna go uh, go over some of the some of my kit, and for that, my favorite few uh, pieces of kit. Everyone's favorite, or every young goalie's favorite pads. Let's start with these bad boys. So as for the spec of these, pretty much stock. The only thing I actually ask for is uh, the strapping on the back. I like to make sure it's uh, what they had on my vapor pads a few years back when I first wore the One X. Absolutely love it compared to the uh, other Supreme strapping. Uh, but, but that's about it, the actual size. It's an XL. As you can see, it's pretty much the equivalent of the 36 plus one, 36 plus two. That's what I used to wear in my CCM. So nothing really changes there. I think the pads pretty much perfect as it is so I, I don't like to really change too much up just a good solid pad the knee block is solid just stable doesn't really move I'll give you an example Nusi obviously has the same pads as me you'll see in a, in a second uh, compared to Olivier who uses a lot of favorite pads which again another great set of pads so I'll show you that I'm sure Olivier won't mind uh, Nusi's got the same pads as me so I can't really demonstrate that but the, the inside knee block, when we said that it's solid and it's stiff, basically it doesn't move. This is just to give you an example. So, uh, Olivia uses the um, Lefebvre pads and you can see, so I'm not gonna wiggle it too much because I don't wanna mess about with his stuff, but it's got a lot of play. You look at the bower one, you like, there is absolutely no play in that. I was skeptical at first, but I think it's a bit of a game changer. It's brilliant. So what I find with this solid one, like I just said a, a couple of seconds ago, I was a little bit skeptical when I first got told about it. Uh, obviously, I'd never really seen it before, but you know, it makes a huge difference. Um, I was surprised. Like, with a lot of things that Bauer keep, keep bringing out, they're always innovating, to be fair, and kudos to Bauer for doing that. They're always pushing the market, they're pushing the products, making other firms catch up with them. And yeah, the, this, this solid knee block, it really does keep you more stable when you slide in and you butterfly. Uh, when you're, you're recovering through stuff, you, you're just a lot more balanced. It, it's really, really good. Uh, and you'll be surprised. Obviously, until you try it, you're not really gonna fully appreciate it, but I'm not saying go out there and, and buy a new set of pads just to try it and just to appreciate it. But um, yeah, I think if you're worried about it or you're skeptical, don't be. Uh, just, like, just like I were really, um, back when I was actually playing, I had two good legs. I'm a big fan of this solid knee block. Really like it. The other thing that's new to the Bauer range, so the Ultrasonics specifically, as far as I'm aware anyways, is this extra little strap. It's a bit of a stability strap, goes around the back of your knee, calf, depends how, how long and how fat your legs are to worry about, so it goes exactly. Um, it just keeps the pad, again, more stable. It's all adding to that stability. They're not the first pads uh, that I've seen to have it. I used a pair of uh, Demo Vaughns a 
couple of years back, they really liked that. Uh, they just unfortunately didn't have the calf strap, so I didn't like that on the bones. But yeah, the strap does, again, it, it makes it a lot more secure. And I tried, tried to practice actually where I had uh, one pad without it, one pad with it on. And I actually preferred it with it on. However, one thing I will say is when I dropped at the start of practice, I did notice that it give you, it, it felt like there was a bit more pressure on the inside of your, uh, on the inside of your knee along your MCL. And that's why after my injury, when I come back, I will be removing the strap. I won't be using it. I want to give my knee a bit more freedom in case uh, something happens like that before. But uh, again, each to their own. People might use it. I know Nusi doesn't wear them. I, I did. Uh, I won't when I come back, but it definitely did its job. It definitely what uh, did what um, Bauer say that it does. And yeah, it, it kept it staple. I did like it, but fortunately, like I say, I won't be taking any chances coming back. Won't be wanting to put any extra pressure on the inside of my knees. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be taking this bad boy off. So what's different? So they're slightly heavier, which I think is actually a good thing. Uh, they're a lot better quality uh, materials that they've used. But most of all, I keep saying this, the stability of these pads is like nothing that I've ever used before. It's, it's really, really good. I absolutely love them. They still keep the speed of the old ones, uh, the, the previous models, but they're much more controlled. Everything I do is much more controlled. Now I really enjoying using these before I got injured. So I'm looking forward to getting back into them. What shall we do next? Came as a 2X Pro. Uh, I ordered an alternate brake. So in the vapor, they offer this alternate brake. It's a bit more like um, like a CCM as far as I'm aware. Again, might be wrong. I'm not into all my uh, stats and, and I mean, I don't know. What, what's the word for it? The, uh, the details and specs. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for specs. Why do I think specs? I'm not into my specs um, too much. I just know by now what works for me. And I like a CCM brake better than the traditional bow one. Um, so I went for the alternate brake. Even though it's a, the same brake as a CCM, what I did find is the pocket on these actually uh, seems to snag a little bit better. Again, it might just be me wanting to like what I'm using currently better than what I used to. But yeah, as soon as I started using these in my last year in Cardiff, um, and then again this year, just feel a bit more confident whenever, whenever anything goes in and feels like it's not gonna come out. I mean, need all that help I can to catch. So if it's uh, gonna stay in there a bit easier and snag it, then I'm all for it. The blocker, again, ultrasonic. What can you say, it's a blocker. As long as it feels good on my hand, as long as it protects me, who cares? Blocker's a blocker. Again, ultrasonic, a bit of a theme with my gear this year. Body armor. Uh, a few years back, uh, probably three years ago, I had the Bauer 1S stuff, wasn't really a big fan. Uh, a bit too long, well, a lot too long for me in the body. I like a shorter body. It wasn't the most mobile, a bit clumsy. Uh, so for the last three years, I've been in Vaughan. This year, obviously, the team's got to deal with Bauer. Uh, I'd heard good things about the ultrasonic, so I thought I'd try it. And you know what? Very impressed. Still maybe a little bit too long for my liking in the body, but it's it's perfectly comfy. In fact, it's really comfortable. Uh, so mobile, really mobile. And then probably the best thing is it's just really customizable, whether it's from the 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 setup on the back your floaters your arms i mean the length is ridiculously easy to uh to adjust i'm not going to do it because i like the setup that i have but you just you just pull a little tab just lace drops down lengthen it to as long as you want shorten it as much as you want really really good uh if i'm being really picky the only thing around the top of the chest plate in your shoulders um it's a bit dead uh, it offers it's got great protection but Sometimes, maybe it's just me being a bad goalie, but I have no idea where the puck's gone off my shoulders. You just can't feel a thing up here or here. Uh, it pops up and, and you're kind of searching for it for a split second. But uh, yeah, it would be nice to have that little bit more feel, but I'd rather that than a broken collarbone. A rookie mistake. Left my camera running while filming some B-roll um, with this little thing. Thought I'd give this a try rather than using my main camera. But left it switched on like an idiot and the battery ran out. So I'm back to just filming on this, but now, mask you know what i said at the start it's every young goal is uh, favorite thing is, is are the pads for me now you get a bit older it's my mask 100 percent. it's my mask you have that many pads it sounds uh, a bit first world problem if you have that many pads you, you just get used to it but the mask they always mean, mean a bit more they're always a bit more personal this one for example i want a bit more of a retro design you see orange splash on that i uh, like the old oilers um uh, goalie mask one for the splash you knew the colors had popped Really want to make a statement with it. 
I am supposed to have an orange cage on this, by the way. They just uh, didn't get painted in time before I got hurt. Uh, but yeah, the, the orange splash on the side. Got a bear, always have bears on my mask, whether that's in the main design or uh, hidden. Sometimes I'll have it hidden, and, and so it doesn't take too much away from the actual design. Uh, on this side, we have Barry Island. You can see Marcos there, the promenade, the, the big wheel. Just reminds me of home, really. I thought if I'm moving away, love Barry that much, might as well bring it with me. And then, obviously on the back, we got the big man, we got Stitch. I always have him on my back plate, so um, he, he was obviously gonna be on there, but just next to Stitch, there's the Irish flower, obviously. That stands for my grandma who passed away last year, so it, it's always um, nice to, to have that on there. It's a nice personal touch to have them out on the ice with me. Uh, and that's that's why I love the mask more than anything else right now. It's you, you, We put it together, obviously I work with Alex Birch. Uh, we, we come together with the design. And then I send it CT Airbrush in to paint it and he does an amazing job. But yeah, it's just, the mask is just so personal to, to every goal. Every goal is different. You can get a bit of your, your style in there, your character in there. Some personal touches like I got Barry, my grandma, Stitch. Yeah, the masks, they always just mean a lot. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, right at the start, we had something else planned, but I don't trust you to use my cameras without me teaching her um, what to press and what to do. So uh, maybe we'll save that for another time. That's my fault. But yeah, for you guys out there, I hope you enjoyed it. It was nice for me to actually get this stuff out and, and play with it again. Hopefully I'll be um, on the ice playing with it pretty soon. Fingers crossed, take it back week by week. See how it goes, you never know. Might be sooner than we expected. Might be longer than expected. Fingers crossed it's the first one. See you next time.